So how do we find particular coefficients without fully expanding? Okay, that's really the question we want to ask ourselves here. Is there a way of finding specific terms in a binomial expansion without having to find all of them? So what I'm going to look at is finding the coefficient of x to the 4 in 1 minus 2x to the 6. And I'm going to slightly change it around for this next bit. So it would make sense that I would write out Pascal's triangle. Okay, So if I do that, let's write it down here. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, and then 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And that's as far as I need to go because I just want it to the sixth row here, okay? So when the second number in is a 6. So find the coefficient of x to the 4 in this expansion. Okay, right, well, I need to determine which one would be the x to the 4. Okay, now I know that the first term doesn't have any x's in it, because it would just be 1 to the 6. So that's x to the 0, effectively. Then x to the 1, x squared, x cubed, x to the 4. So it would be that 15 that I want. Okay, so I definitely want 15 out the front. Now, I know that it's going to be 15 times 1 to the something times minus 2x to the something. Okay, now because I want um, x to the 4, this has to be 4 in order to, for me to get an x to the 4. So if that's a 4, then I know that these two numbers must add up to 6. And so that's got to be 2. Now, because we're looking just at the coefficient, I don't want to have the x there. So I'm going to get rid of the x, and I'm just going to have what I've got left over. So I've got 15 times 1 times minus 2 to the 4. Now, minus 2 to the 4 is 16. So I've got 15 times 16. So if I need to do a little bit of a sum on the, on the right-hand side, then so be it. Okay, so 5, 6 are 30, 1, 6, and the 3 is 9, so 0, 5, 1. So we're going to have 240. So the coefficient is 2, 4, 0. Okay, now when it's asking for the coefficient, we just want the number that would be in front of the x to the 4. I don't want to write the coefficient is 240 x to the 4. Okay, you need to know that the coefficient means the number in front of. So if you've written, if you've kept the x there and you write that there, okay, you're going to need to just get rid of that x to the 4, okay, and that x, so you could identify it just by the coefficient. So how about this bit? Find the coefficient of x to the 4 in 1 minus 2x squared to the 6. Right, well... I know that there's going to be these three elements, because I had the three elements there for the first time. So there are these three elements that I'm multiplying together. The first one is Pascal's triangle, okay? And then the second one, the middle one, is definitely 1, this first term, to the power of something. And then I've got the second term, the minus 2x squared, to the power of something. Okay? Now, if I look at minus 2x squared to the power of something, and I want x to the 4, this number has to be 2 this time. It's not 4, because x squared to the power of 2 is x to the 4. Now, if that's 2, then that is 4. Okay? So this will help me identify which term I'm looking for. Okay? So... If we think about this logically, what we're going to have is uh, 1 to the power of 6 plus 6 times 1 to the power of 5 times minus 2x squared to the power of 1. And so is this term 
that will get me the correct one, because it will be 15 times 1 to the 4 times minus 2x squared squared. OK? So this is what I want. And I don't want that x squared there anymore, so I can get rid of that. So the coefficient is 15 times 1 times minus 2 squared. So 15 times 4, which is just 60. OK? And that is how I can find the coefficient in this case. It's a little bit more um, using your ingenuity here, but I would definitely suggest drawing three horizontal lines and timesing them together and filling in the gaps. This goes in the middle, so 1 to the power of something, and that bit goes in on the right-hand side to the power of something, and this is your Pascal's triangle element. Okay, And it is this process that will enable you to find these individual coefficients.